So ladies and gentlemen, it's time for celebration because Planet Sun is finally at home and he is radiating and beaming with happiness. everyone welcome back to my channel and let's continue with our series of sun in different houses and today we are going to talk about sun in the fifth house of a horoscope but what happens when sun is placed in the fifth house well let's just understand what does fifth house mean in astrology so the fifth house is the Dharma house. We know that 159 are actually very auspicious houses and the fifth, nine, the fifth house and the ninth house are the houses of Dharma, spirituality. Okay, so fifth house is very auspicious house and this house represents creativity and self-expression. Remember that when we discussed about sun in third house well third house is all about creativity and your manual skills but when it comes to fifth house the fifth house represents creativity and the analytical skills and also fifth house represents art music okay drama and yes fifth house is also you know all about knowledge spirituality the way you recite your mantra the mantra is that you know chanting mantras you know, how do you perform chanting and also fifth house represents children it's about this is the house of creation you know you create a life you know giving birth to a child is yes it is considered as creating a life and also this house represents student life your your the part of your life which you you know when you get your education you're in a college or a school so yes going to a school and getting education getting those life skills is also a part of creation you are creating a life for yourself you're creating a better world for yourself so yes fifth house represents education it represents teachers teaching it represents your classroom it also represents romantic partner your friends affairs and so fifth house is a quite a you know very auspicious house so let's just understand what happens when sun is placed in the fifth house well fifth house is ruled by the sign leo and we all know that leo is the sole sign the only sign of planet sun so sun is quite happy over there he feels like he is at home and again you know the the karaka of fifth house is planet jupiter so sun is not just happy over there you know there is expansion in the pride the dignity of the sun you know Firstly, it's in the house of Leo and then it's the house of Jupiter. Then, of course, you know, native with this kind of placement are very proud and very dignified individuals. OK, so first of all, sun in fifth house blesses a native with a very charming, magnetic personality. You know, there is, you know, there is positive aura all around them and you know they are the center of attraction i said the same thing for sun in first house you know whenever you have sun placed at a good you know whenever sun is placed nicely you know it is not afflicted wherever the sun is placed if it is not under affliction it is in a good house or a good sign it do gives a very attractive personality the same happens when sun reaches the fifth house so the personality is so charming and so radiant but it kind of you know shadows the other people around 
it glow just like a bulb you know you you know you, you just find a halo around it right so it creates a halo for other people around it other people are actually you know being ignored so they're so bright that other people around them do get shadowed they do get ignored and this thing creates jealousy so yes people around these native are usually quite jealous from people who have were having this placement now next thing is that these people are very confident about whatever they do and uh, they're quite successful when uh, they are into you know the political world or they are entrepreneur you know fifth house is sixth from the tenth house there so this placement creates a little trouble for the native and they don't get you know along with the colleagues at the workplace they have ego clashes so definitely there is some kind of trouble at the workplace so it's better for them to do something of their own maybe they are entrepreneur or a businessman anything like this will be totally suitable for them and yes you know they are more of egocentric people if sun is afflicted by planet saturn or ketu things will be different but yes if sun is placed over there with jupiter or even the you know sun is alone over there it kind of creates egocentric people they don't or don't really care about people around and they don't show any you know sympathy towards other people that is the negative part of this placement this placement of sun in fifth house makes a native very social these people are the life of a party or a celebration literally these people are party animals and talking about one more aspect of fifth house that is romantic relationships well sun in fifth house does not support long lasting relationships they do find trouble in finding the right romantic partner because they want someone just like them you know highly proud and dignified person and again they do suffer from compatibility issues which is also the reason you know they don't have long lasting relationships and lastly fifth house represents children it represents child birth so sun in fifth house do creates trouble in that aspect it delays the child birth it does not deny but it delays the birth of a child because you, we have discussed in the birth chart of uh, bill gates i think in the video of papkar did yoga he has son in the fifth house and he had his first child at the age of 44 so yes it delays it but does not you know it does not deny the birth of children so this was all about son in fifth house do subscribe to my channel and stay connected till then goodbye